Hello, welcome to this five minute recap of the Lounge Sweeper 2023 spring launch. I'm gonna give you a quick overview of everything that we've done and that's coming up. So let's get started. And we start with vulnerabilities where we've done significant updates to the backend to improve the accuracy and speed of vulnerabilities and include all of the vulnerabilities that are in the NIST catalog, meaning not only the critical severity, but also other severities and other dates, including even things that go back to 1999. So you can fix vulnerabilities like it's 1999. Uh, and with that being said, if you have any vulnerabilities that you want more info on, you can even use the CVE code paste it into the URL and basically use LandSuper as your own vulnerability database to get all of the info that you can see like additional links to the official resources, the severity, and you can even see how many devices are impacted in your environment immediately without having to go and browse to different tabs or do a Google search or anything related to that. Next up, we head over to the diagrams. We're in the diagrams, we've done updates to make it more user-friendly, add additional views, and much, much more. You can see that we've added the specific tree view to give you a better kind of starting view of your environment, both physical and virtual environments. We've even added groupings so that, for example, all of the virtual machines are grouped together by default. And we've added much more information and filters that you can use as well in the additional settings of diagrams. So now you can also use diagrams to filter out specific things like you can filter on a IP range, um, you can filter on the state as well, as well as taking a look at all of the devices that you have in your environment to actually take a look and see if you just want to get an overview of all of your Windows devices or your Mac devices or just your network equipment. You can use all of the new filters to get a diagram that is suited to your specific need, your specific use cases, so that then you can also do this or use this in other use cases or other platforms as well. Talking about other platforms, one thing that we've added, the big thing that we've added is the option to export diagrams. So you can use it in other platforms, in other tools. So we've added three export options for you to use and there is much more export options to come in the future. The next thing that we're gonna take a look at is the custom views that we've added. Um, specifically, we've added a custom view to our software page where now you can create any kind of customized view that you want for software specifically, meaning that you can add additional columns to the software overview. And once you have done so, you can even add advanced filters to create a view specific to your needs. In this specific example, I'm gonna make a quick view of the Chrome softwares that have been installed in your environment. So you have that one single overview of all the Chrome installations um, and their versions that are in your complete environment. Next up is OT, where we've done also a bunch of improvements. Uh, the most significant improvement is that we've added more protocols that are supported now. Um, that way you can scan more types of devices and we're able to pick up more different types of devices as well. And an important one is that we've added a maintenance section in the options so that you can auto update your OT scanners, your OT hub, um, and choose which time that they actually try and do an automatic update as well. And lastly, but definitely not least, we've added an import and export function, very useful for if you have a separated OT network, one that is not connected to the internet, you can basically set up LAN super scanners and OT hub in your separated environment. Um, then do the complete scan, take those results and then export them and import them in a connected hub that is connected to your LandSuper site so that you can then use that information in your LandSuper interface, run reports on it, use it in the risk insights to see if there's vulnerabilities and much, much more there as well. Going back to LandSuper on-premise, where we've added a very highly requested feature by the community, which is the addition of LAPS in the credentials section. So now you can use that to ensure that you don't have one single credential that you use for Windows scanning, eliminating that big problem that a lot of our customers had where they were having to use one single credential across all of their Windows devices that had local administrative access. Um, and an example here of a customer who actually had that specific problem. They were using LS Agent as kind of a fallback method, but 
The limitation of LS Agent is that it, it scans on a set interval. Um, and if you want that real-time access to data, if you want to rescan a device right now, you need a refresh of the device, some data that's on it. You want to see if it, you know, installed the patch correctly. You need to do a actual agentless scans to retrieve that data immediately. And that's not possible without or with the related security risks, let's say. And Labs completely fixes that, lets you use safer credentials as well and automatically rotate them. If you want more information about all this, you can head over to the landing page that we have for our launch where you can get all of these details and more, and you can find additional use cases, additional integrations that we added and much, much more there as well. So check that out and I'll see you next time.